Greetings, this is a Timeshare Traveler, episode 42, Living Six Months in Timeshares. I'm just about to uh, embark on a six-month journey staying in timeshares throughout the United States. Uh, pretty exciting for me, um, and I think it's pretty exciting for a lot of people. I think I think this should be an interesting thing, for, uh, exercise for everyone to look at. How do you want to change your life? If if um, if you want to see more of the world, this is a great opportunity. So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, this is kind of the overview. Why would anyone do this? And I'll and I'll go through that. Well, what are the economics? Um, what are the trade offs that I'm making? Um, and what are the possibilities? And how can I do this? So what, what have I done to put myself in a position where I can do that? So before I do that, I'll go into a little bit about my channel. Um, and I hope you subscribe. Um, and then I'll go into the details of those uh, of the overview. Hi, this is Cliff, and I'm your timeshare traveler. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel is improving your timeshare travels. I'll do this through timeshare video reviews, tips for using timeshares, and much, much more. I can be found on Facebook at Timeshare Trav, Twitter at Timeshare Trav, and on the web at www.timesharetraveler.com. And if you like my videos, don't forget to click subscribe below. Well, why would anybody do this? Uh, maybe I seem a little crazy and you might think that now and you might think it at the end or you might think, hey, that I should think about this. So why would anyone do this? Well, here's one of my main premise. If, if you get two weeks a year in vacation, um, and, and, and you see the world, a little, there's not enough. I mean, in two weeks, can you really see that much, you know, you, and some of your vacations seeing family and other things. So it's not always the capability of seeing the world and not everybody wants to see the world, but it's, you know, it's a, a lot of, of opportunities to see and, and, and do things. Um, the world is now interconnected. Um, staying in timeshares is just a way to be physically part of the world. I can be in different places, um, at, at different times, um, and see things that, you know, you know, I could guess I could see them on the internet, but I actually like to experience them personally. Um, and again, if you can blend the world and continuing to work, then you get the best uh, of the world. Why not? I mean, I really, I, actually, that question is not why, but why not? Um, I, uh, I'll talk more about, you know, types of jobs and things like that, but um, why not do this? Um, for me, it's a personal education. Meeting other people from different parts of the world enhances your feeling of being part of the world. Um, you know, the more we get to meet other people, the more we appreciate each other. And I think there's not, only good can happen from that. Well, now I'm going to talk about what are the economics, because of course, you know, maybe your first thing is, well, that's great, you can do that, but, you know, I can't possibly afford to pull this off. So let me just talk about, I'm going to really speak more to just the housing components, in, and you know, and, and, and this is an educated guess, this is not a science, so it can vary based on your choices, you know. Um, I don't always fly, drive, you know, you know, so those kind of things. But anyway, my monthly house costs are about $2,100, and that's made up of the mortgage, insurance, and taxes, and I live in a condo, so it's got an HOA, and that's about $1,900. Utilities, that's gas, electric, cable, etc. That's about $2,200, so the total is about $2,100. My, my monthly timeshare costs really are, I have a $2,200, and this could be debatable, but I, I tried to be as fair as I could be. Um, my timeshare maintenance fees, I have quite a bit of this, is about $1,000 a month. Um, and I'm because I'm doing this in six months and not over a year, I kind of added $500 a month just to the sort of using more of my points in a more narrow window. But I have other ways to do things. I have hotel stays. I have all kinds of things. Um, and you've, I have lots of different um, solutions. Like the last year, I earned 71 free hotel stays by doing presentations, credit cards, and so forth. So a lot of other opportunities. I also have extra expenses that I wouldn't have if I was staying in, in my house. I have a little more gas. I have some rental cars. I have some airfare and Uber when I don't have a rental car. So often I'll I'll go to Hawaii and I'll just I'll rent an Uber. I'm you know I'm staying on the beach. I'll if you do Uber, you stop at Costco, you load up on food, you get to the timeshare, and then you enjoy the timeshare and the things right close to it, and then you move to another one and so forth. So I added about seven hundred dollars a month. So that's how I came up with my twenty two hundred. Those costs could be debatable should mention I don't pay utilities or anything like that that I do have to pay when I'm staying at home. So then what can I rent my house for? Well, 
I can rent it, um, and I'm giving you the cost after maintenance uh, management fees. So I have a management company. I have some rental properties, and they will just manage this one like uh, my other rental properties. And that means I net about two thousand. So really, my monthly costs are are uh, twenty one hundred, but really nineteen hundred of that is really the house. So I actually come out a hundred dollars a head. But really, the way to look at it is, it's cost me an additional two hundred dollars a month based on my monthly timeshare costs than it is. Um, renting out my house so that to me the freedom the enjoyment all those things for a, you know estimated cost of two hundred dollars a month that's that's hard to beat um and granted i've invested in the timeshares and that's money spent in in the past um and again my point here is the rent pretty much offsets the house costs so it's really down to what is the travel cost that i've got going um and again i mentioned the travel costs are just a little higher so there you have kind of like if that's your, I can't do this because it costs too much, that's what I'm able to do. So now let's talk about what are the possibilities. You know, there are a lot of new job options made possible by technology. And, I, you know, I guess there's a downside with COVID. It's been definitely a downside. Don't, sorry, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, a lot of uh, visual meetings have occurred. I do that with my kids. We get together more now because it's so easy to just jump on a a Zoom call in my case, um, to have a family chat that if we were trying to get together, be much more complicated. I have three kids and they're all adults, so this makes it you know both easier and it would make it more difficult to get together because they have busy lives. Um, I think the current generation is more flexible to work multiple careers, multiple types of jobs, uh, work independently. This leads to a less grounded society, but the tools allow you to stay grounded with your friends. And, you know, I just talked about that with your friends and your family. So, you know, there's a lot more freedom and choice. Um, and, you know, I appreciate those options and I'm trying to take advantage of that and, and learn myself here later in life. Um, it's not, I'm not too old to try it myself. And again, communication allows family. I do, I do weekly Zoom calls when I'm traveling a lot. Um, it's now possible to work remote. There's a lot of, you know, certainly information and uh, information technology, engineering, those those fields. Even even medical work now is allow you can do, you know, you can contact your patients remotely. So I don't know. I'm not that much of an expert in that area, but I'm just I'm just saying some of us need to sort of just think through and stretch what what the possibilities are. And I think that's part of the challenge is, is just stretching. What do you want to do and what's important to you and what do you have to do to get there? Um, I'm studying for my real estate license for another example so I can, there's now abilities to sell real estate on a virtual basis. Um, and I may, and that looks something that's interesting to me. Um, and again, some people now are, can live wherever they want and they are working on remote projects, the standard consulting job where you'd get on a plane on, on Sunday night, then you work, get back on a plane on Friday and come back home. Now, why not just do that all virtually, coordinate with the teams, have team meetings, all, you can do that all virtually, and you can be pretty much anywhere. So that's a career example that, that might, might work for many of us. Um, you know, the rise of Airbnb replace and, and timeshares replacing the corporate apartments. I, actually, I haven't, I haven't actually seen a corporate apartment. That used to be the standard thing in cities, particularly in large cities, you see corporate apartments, and now you just see Airbnb and timeshares and things like that. So uh, I think there's a lot more choices and a lot more that supports this lifestyle. Um, and again, if you've got kids, it, you know, we just came out of an environment where we had online learning. Now, I'm, I'm, there's a huge debate there, and I'm not going to try to take sides, but Again, if you, you as parents want that lifestyle and you have children, say, from middle school and on up, you don't, you don't have to say, no, I can't do this. Yeah, there are options that could make it work. So that, that's, I think, I think looking at the possibilities and thinking about what you want out of life and then making the decisions that allow you to achieve what you want out of life is one of the ways. And me doing this for six months is hopefully highlighting for you to think about how you might want to do your life. So I guess how how can I do this? Uh, well, I have a job I can do anywhere. I'm, I'm a I'm I've morphed into a semi-retired. I do a real estate investment, and I have property managers. So I just need to communicate with my property managers and anybody doing maintenance or or so forth on that. I also am looking talking with realtors, and might might become one. 
where I would um, actually be able to look to buy the next property. Um, I, I also leverage this in my in my in my time in my timeshare. So while I actually have a project going on building out a unit that I'm going to probably live in for a while, but it's going to be take six months for that uh, prefab home to get put in place. Then I'll move into it and it lower the cost because I can be a owner occupied. And then I'll start looking at that. And then you know maybe in six months later I'll go traveling again looking for the next property. So it it really works as a way to maximize my income. So I'm actually adding $2,000 a month, as I mentioned earlier, to my rental stream um, and living in my timeshares, which is a, somewhat of a fixed cost. My maintenance fees, are, I look at them as fixed costs, and I'm just leveraging that um, to work. Um, and I like sharing my experiences. Here I am <laughs> right now, uh, just sharing my experience and really trying to open up, you know, I think there's a possibility for more people. And I and if this lifestyle is interesting to you, great. And if it's scary, don't. But, you know, that's what life's about is you get to a single use event and you get to do what you want to do. And this is what I want to do. And um, I'll just share that with you. And, it, um, you know, that's the options. And I do a lot of reviews of um, places I stay so that other people can see um, where they could stay. And hopefully that those have been helpful. And um, anyway, so... I meet incredible people when I travel. I just, you know, I mean, uh, they're not they're not rich and famous. I just, I view it as normal people more often maybe retired right now, but I'm starting to see more and more people in in with younger children, and I often ask them um, why they've done what they've done and, and so forth. Um, I keep in touch with my friends and family via video calls. I don't really sacrifice that much. I mean... I haven't done a lot of international travel because of the pandemic, but my gym is pretty much anywhere in the U.S. You know, I pretty much can get a gym or, you know, the timeshares have pretty good gyms in some cases, in many cases, I should say. I buy food at Costco, and Costco is pretty much anywhere in the U.S. It's on all the Hawaiian islands, just so you know. I get it. First thing I do is I get out of the airport, I jump in my Uber, I uh, you can add a stop in Uber, and I, the stop is Costco. I load up my food, and I get back in the same Costco, uh, same Uber driver and drive to the timeshare. And then I have plenty of food, and if I'm going to move again, I have an opportunity just in that one move. Um, I save hundreds of dollars not having to have a rental car, and I get to see so much, and I just move around. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm meeting people traveling, but I also meet some of the local people because I'll stay in some of the towns and Hawaii and various cities around, so I get to meet some local people and I try some local uh, foods. Um, um, anyway, um, and I cook food in my timeshare, so it's you know it's kind of like living at home. It's in fact the nice thing is, is my house my house gets uh, free clean, cleaning on a weekly basis. So um, in some ways, it's more conducive than me cleaning you know my home. So in some ways, it's more convenient. Um, and I love to go for walks. I'm just a person who likes to go out and do a lot of walking. So this is a really good lifestyle for me, and I get to see new and interesting places. Um, I like doing it, and sometimes i repetitive in my walks. I'll walk along the beach, the same beach, for a week. That will not get old for me. Um, maybe it will for you, but anyway, that's my life. Anyway, so that's, that, that's, that's what the possibilities are. I hope you've enjoyed my video, and please subscribe to my channel to get more content on an ongoing basis. Happy traveling.